Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to see how many mice we can catch in the barn with one of my all time favorite mouse traps, the rolling log. Now, I posted the original video for this trap over four years ago, and since then, it grew to my most popular video with over 22 million views. But unfortunately, YouTube recently decided to remove that video based on today's standards and guidelines. So I thought I'd do another video where we'd test it out. On the original video, I caught 11 mice in one night. We'll see if we can beat that record. Now what got me into trouble on the first video was I put water in the bucket and you can't show that. I didn't show any mice drowning, but I did show some floating at the end. So this time we're gonna make it a live catch trap. You place it on top of a bucket, put peanut butter in the middle, the mice climb out there, try to get the peanut butter, it rolls and they drop down. It's a very simple trap. It's been copied many times. There's many different versions, but this is the original that started it all. So let's try it out again. We'll put it on a bucket, test it out with our pet mice, and then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can beat our record and get more than 11 mice. Okay, mouse, show us how the rolling log works. It walks out, tries to get the bait, it spins and falls down. It works with our pet mice after all these years, but will it catch the wild mice in the barn? Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, we were trying to beat a record of 11 mice in one night, and actually, we got more than double that last night. The mice wanted the bait, they walked out on the log, it spun, and they dropped down. I've tested out over 700 mouse traps with motion cameras, and this is in my all-time top two, along with the flip and slide. It's so simple and effective. 
There's quite a few different variations on rolling logs. Some of them don't work as well. They spin too freely. So when the mouse walks out there, they feel it move and they go back. But this one right here has the perfect amount of spin. They go out in the middle and then drop down. If you want to buy it, I'll put a link down below along with some of my other favorite variations. Some of them have donuts in the middle, so it's an obstacle they can't climb over. But this one worked very well. Now because we made it a live catch trap without the water, I have a bucket full of mice. I can't let them go. They're non-native invasive mice. They've been hanging around a chicken coop eating the feed and they're great to remove. So instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch it with CO2 and we're going to feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what wild animals enjoy a mouse feast. Well, it looks like the opossum enjoyed all those mice we caught with the rolling log mousetrap. This continues to be one of my all-time favorite mousetraps. It's so simple, it resets itself, it's safe, and it works. You can catch a lot of mice in one night. But like I said, be careful. There's many variations, and some of them don't work as well. So if you want the ones I recommend, I'll put a link down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos, even when I have to redo them. I want to provide a service and give you the best mousetrap recommendations. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. <laughs>